I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Hello again YouTube, I am making a video for Saints Row the Third and a lag fix for Saints Row the Third. This is going to be a, um, similar to my crisis too, but voice is deeper. Don't have to worry about it. It's the legit version or whatever, but, um... I've taken notice that my Crisis 2 lag fix video has gotten 3,000 views, and that was my first video I've ever done, and I wasn't even really trying, so it was just some kind of thing I found. Anyway, um, basically, this might not be a um, full fix for Crisis, or not Crisis, like Saints Row, but um, go to Computer, um, double click on your OS slash C drive. I see from the past year or so um my computer got changed frequently I got you know hard drive and a screen replacement don't worry about that but um 32 bit instead of 64 bit so if you're on 64 bit you will have your steam in x86 and but I have mine in program file so just go to either one scroll down to the s's go to steam and then go to steam apps um, go to common, go, um, go to Saints Row the Third, and then here, click, double click on display, it, if you don't, haven't double clicked on it, then it should ask you for, and, um, kind of like, you know, select what you want to use in order to open it, just select notepad, it's what you really have to do in order to open it anyway, but, um, in this, it says display options, this file is re rewritten, rewritten, whenever options are changed in the menu, toggle different, toggle values can be true, false, or one to zero, everything else is a number, so basically it's telling you that true or false if you want something to be turned on, then it's true, obviously, or false for off. And then 1 to 0 can be like, oh, you want anti-aliasing on? Put it to 1. 1 and off? Put it to 0. Um, and everything else is a number. Like, anything beyond one, 0 to 1 will be a number. And it will be talking about the intensity slash beautifulness of the, how much the game will be putting out. So, this is my setup. This is all my setup right here. Um, I usually keep a lot of things on zero, so if you just want to pause the video right now and put that in there, I have texture detail level on zero, annual, and ESO, ESO level on one, because, uh, I mean, because it's supposed to be zero, but I'm just going to set to zero, and SSAO level is off. Shadow detail is zero. Scene detail is one because that will just utterly destroy the game, I believe. So I'm just going to set that to zero just to test. And I'll get back to you um, probably on a separate video. Motion blur, obviously off. So basically all you want to do is just click save. It'll And if it's like a oh, mosquito, uh, just click save. Yes, replace it. It's on read only. So if it says it's on read only, just click right click on display left click on properties right there in attributes right here it should say read only just click read only apply and then click ok then try to save it once more yes save and then it should save now I'm not going to do it because the last time um, I actually tried to it like ruined the, um, it ruined the video on honestly and crisis 2 was so laggy and everything else were pixels and yeah it got really really bad so I'm not actually going to show any central gameplay copyright issues I, songs yada 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 I really don't want to get in trouble for that because I'm learning and I've learned from actions so um central the third of course it's right there 54 hours play just click play and then boom so if that doesn't work for you and you have the same Intel drivers as me, see the video in YouTube. Um, go to go to 
start control panel wait for it to load now what you want to do is you should see insel R graphics and medium just click that <sighs> something's complete Dude, yeah, 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 I don't play you anyway. I don't know why I installed you. So, um, just give it a minute to load. Um, let me get, um, let me know in the comment section if I should do a gameplay or some sort that will, won't cause hardware intensity. Yeah, so. Alright, so back to the, um, thing. Yeah, basic mode, advanced, and wizard mode. So, basically, wizard mode is just step-by-step -step thing. So, you already know, if you're com experienced with comp computers, you know what wizard mode does. Advanced mode, it obviously shows all the settings. So, we're just gonna go to advanced mode. It just has, like, one or two things over here or whatever. It's like, yeah, like, so. Up here, too. So, that's really the only difference. So, um, there's application optimal mode. I have no idea what that does. Custom settings. Um, this is it. But um, just put it on performance. Then click apply. Uh, um, then click OK. Then try to launch Sage Row the third. Um, that's it for the video. But like and favorite if you like this video. Subscribe to become a maverick. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do, or just subscribe to become something a subscriber to me, whatever. Um, thank you for the 3,000 people that have viewed my first video, which was Crisis 2 Lag Fix. Um, I'm gonna start getting into YouTube because you know I've been a bit scared, um, not scared per se, but nervous because. I mean, just seeing that crisis video blow up out of nowhere. I mean, so many people were affected by this. I actually got thanks. Um, first couple comments were trolls, but I don't really care. But, you know, after that, people were um, just grateful and saying thank you or I'm launching the game now. Um, um, you're welcome, I should say. But as you might know, I have gotten a bit older. My voice is matured so I might actually be a good game player at this point um so this is me signing off um expect the video but I'm no uh, look at the freaking time I'm making this at but um yeah I'm actually gonna head to sleep cause YouTube gets me up too late so I'm actually gonna make a new intro after this cause you guys but Signing off.